And welcome back here to A Sweater in a Movie, our special Fanboy 76 look at amazing, we don't use ugly on this show, Christmas sweaters and the movies that go with them. And it just dawned on me that uh, on this amazing Star Wars sweater, the X-Wings are shooting green lasers. Actually, the TIE Fighters are. It's hard to see when you're looking down. And I've got a green background, so... Fingers crossed. I do want to talk about a series of movies because, no, I'm not dedicating any time to watch the or talk about the Star Wars holiday special, though it is absolutely mathematically as horrible as you've heard. There are some people that are trying to like, well, certain parts of the to me, it's like Halloween three. It's a bad. OK, now Halloween three is probably better than the holiday special, but we don't need to start like basically giving it props that it doesn't deserve just because it's old or just because it's hard to find. It's awful. Lum Lum should never exist. And I'm not going to wish you a happy life day. But, you know, yesterday we talked about Miracle on 34th Street. And one of the movies that I feel similarly about is the Santa Claus series. And I'm a big, and I know this is easy, but I'm a big spirit of Christmas triumphs over all kind of guy. Uh, I'm one of those guys that wishes Christmas, we could carry how we feel about Christmas through the other 364 days a year. And therefore, Santa Claus 1 and Santa Claus 2 really, I think, dive into that in a way that doesn't feel hokey. Uh, it's still funny. It's still a really clever setup. And it's a really good adventure. Tim Allen is at the top of his game. But also Judge Reinhold's a little different than what we've seen in other 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 movies that he's in. So uh, he's not Rosewood for my um, Beverly Hills Cop fans out there. So it's definitely the first two movies in particular are absolutely part of our annual watch and they should be part of yours. And, you know, Jessica wasn't really into the Santa Claus, mostly because she didn't really like Home Improvement. And I get that the Tim Taylor character on Home Improvement is a little much at times. But since we were together, she started to give the movies a chance, and now they are on her watch list for every single year. In fact, we watched them before she left on her most recent road trip. We did like the first season of The Santa Clauses on Disney+, Plus and are enjoying, in fact, the second season of Santa Clauses. What we have removed is The Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. Um, what a waste of talent. It, it, you know, Martin Short is clever. Um, the design is great. All the fictional heroes are back, but the movie itself is, it just looked like it should have been called Santa Claus three, the quest for more money. It was not very well done and spoiler alert. The solution to all the problems are that Scott Calvin's niece gives really good hugs. Just remember when you think about that, that someone got paid a lot of money to write that script and make that movie. But again, Santa Claus 1 and Santa Claus 2, I actually think I prefer the second one. I love the, the romance part of it all. I, I think the, the scene with the secret Santa and Santa Claus 2 is one of my favorite scenes of any Christmas movie ever. So hopefully that will become part of your regular watch. And if it's not already, I guess. But I'm also hoping that we will become part of your regular watch. Please subscribe, like, and follow us on all of your social media platforms. We'll be back tomorrow with a new sweater and a new movie. They really should have called the holiday special like Christmas on Yavin because then this sweater will be perfect.